guys, it's Janet Winkler with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to take a look at a Big Shot Heavy card. This card uses three different Big Shot framelit thinlets, and it uses a Big Shot folder and does not feature any stamping. A little, um, a little bit unique, but it's a really fun card. And the different Big Shot framelits and elements that you use on this card, you're going to find that you're going to want to use them on all kinds of projects throughout the holiday. So let's take a look at the elements of this card. First, everything that we use to make the card can be found in our 2015 holiday catalog that debuts September 1st. So you're going to want to make sure that you have a copy of this catalog. It's full of lots of beautiful ideas that you can go ahead and copy and use for inspiration. Plus, you're going to want to use it to create your wish list that you can shop beginning September 1st. So for this card here, we used our new Sleigh Ride elements. These are wonderful. You can use them on just short little pieces like you see in the window. You can create beautiful long borders across your card, beautiful long borders for project life. And of course you can also go the width of a card when it's done in portrait. So lots of possibilities, even cute little borders. You've got houses, you've got the sleigh, and you've got the tree. So that's one of the framelits that we used. The other one that we used is this one called Hearth and Home. And you have a fireplace mantle, and then you have a window that you can alter to also create a fireplace by removing the panes and one of the bottom of it. I love this because it adds the little lines to give it the look of wood around it. So it looks, you know, more realistic, not just a square of paper. So Hearth and Home was another set of the framelits that we used. And then the other one, I am in love with die cutting words. And I don't think that we have enough of them. I would buy them in every word that they could imaginely come up with. I absolutely love these words. And so this is a set of four, no three, Merry, Jolly, and Peace. And you'll find those in here in our Christmas greetings. And then lastly, we used a folder, and I bet I left it out on the big shot. And it's our Gently Falling. And the biggest issue that you will have with using this folder is you need to decide whether or not a lot of snow has already fallen and you've got snow at the bottom like I did here because they have snow for the sleigh to go on. Or you need to decide if it's still snowing or just starting to snow and the clouds are full. Because you're going to want to think about that as you orient your card and put that in. So let's go ahead and let's talk about creating this card. First, I want to talk to you about a new option that you have for die cutting with the um, release of our September catalog, and that's the Precision Big Shot Plate. I will also link in the comment section to the Sizzix video so that you can learn a little bit more and get some of their great tips for it. But what this is designed is it's designed to help you get a nice, clean cut. It does not necessarily pull all of the pieces through like you would if you had a piece of dryer sheet down, but it does give you a nice clean cut so that the pieces that are in here very quickly just pop out. You just simply can poke them and you end up with a very nice clean cut. And that's what it does. <coughs> Excuse me. To work with the precision plate, first and foremost, this side is not a cutting plate. It's easy if you're like me when you see for cutting and you read over here and then you don't read the rest of the instructions and you start to cut on it as I did. It does not totally ruin it, it just makes it look a little beat up. So when you're looking at the instructions for it, make sure that you get all the way down here to where it says this is not a cut cutting surface so you don't do what I did. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to use the platform that comes with the Big Shot machine and you're going to leave it on tab 2. You're going to go ahead and put your precision plate down with the <coughs> printed side down. <coughs> I am so sorry. And then you're going to go ahead and um, let's just get a die here. <coughs> and you would place your paper, you would place your die. And then aren't these just a thing of beauty? One of the things that I did when I bought this new precision plate is I decided to have a belated birthday for me. And I bought all new plates. And a really great tip, after I shared these with my customers and showed them, you know, my new little happy happiness, pile of happiness new plates, one of, um, one of the readers on my Facebook page shared a great tip. And what she does is she takes one plate and she writes top on it. And that one is always the top plate that she uses. And then after that one's all beat up and used up, then she'll make it her bottom plate and she'll have another new one for the top. So I just thought that was a great idea. Know that as you use them, they will get scarred up. They will start to bow. A good tip is to constantly be flipping them. So again, when you're working with the precision plate, 
the standard platform that comes with your Big Shot on tab to your precision plate with the black side up, the piece of paper that you want to cut, your framelit, thinlet with the cutting surface down, and then your plate, and then you will run it right through the machine. And again, when you lift it up, it doesn't mean that all the little pieces just automatically fall out, but it does mean that it's a nice clean cut and they pop out with a little paper piercing tool, even your fingers quickly and easily. So that's the precision plate. Another option that you have, oops, let me set that aside for just a second, for working with your framelits is the magnetic platform, and this is something else that you could choose to invest in. It is magnetic, so your, your framelits will stick to them, holding them into place. One of the things you have to be aware of is that it is not a solid sheet of magnets. They're actually little magnetic discs, and so sometimes, depending on how it's positioned, it may draw smaller framelits to itself, to the magnet. So it may kind of slide them across, causing your framelit to shift when it was intended to be a magnetic force holding it. It is a nice thick base, so you're not going to use um, the standard base that comes with it. You're going to use your magnetic platform. Then you will go ahead and you will put an acrylic plate down. You will put the piece of paper that you're cutting down. You will go ahead and position your framelit, and then you will take another acrylic plate, put it on, and you will run it through. As with any Big Shot, depending on what you've used yours for, how much use it gets, sometimes it may require a shim. And a shim is simply a small, thin piece of paper that you can put um, between the Big Shot and your acrylic plates, and it just thickens it up a little bit. Because over time, the roller balls and things may loosen a little bit, especially if you've been known to cut thicker chipboard or cardstock with it, so um, or multiple layers at a time. So just know that... If it doesn't cut the very first time through, you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's broken, I got a dull, try a shim first because, again, um, trying to mill them all the same and then trying to have big shots and things that work based on how we use them is not feasible. So just a little tips for you with um, die cutting the dies of this card. So the elements of this card, oops, I'm putting the wrong thing aside and let's pull them all out here. We went ahead and we already emboss this and what we're going to do is we're going to take our whisper white craft pad and we're going to take a sponge dauber because we want it to look like it's snowing we don't want just little dots on it and let me just kind of make sure I don't have too much on here and I'm just going to start to cover the dots with the craft white ink you can make it swirl so it looks like a snowstorm you can go ahead and just kind of really smooth it over. How dark and how light you make it, again, it's going to be your aesthetics. I have to go in and just darken a few little areas because we know nature's not one consistent. So you're just going to cover that. We'll go ahead and we'll fold our card in half. Then I cleaned up and moved my bone folder. So just pretend like I just creased that with a bone folder. So we've got this happening. Then what we want to do, through the magic of television, I've already die cut two of the sleigh ride ornaments. Here's the tree, and then here you can see where, when I die cut it with the precision plate, those little pieces were left right in, and I can just go ahead and pop them right out. And now what I want to do is on the back of my picture frame, window frame, but it would make a great picture frame too, though, now that I've said that, I'm going to position my sleigh where I would like it to be. I want a little bit of the brown showing. And I'm going to just end up cutting that off with snips, and then I'll put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. And I'm going to position my trees behind them. Oh, got little fuzzies on it. I'm going to down a little bit lower. There we go. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my snips. And I'm going to start first by evening it up with the edge of the window. Just using that as my guide. And then I'm just going to come in kind of slightly at an angle behind it. I don't have anything peeking out and just get rid of those edges and I'm working with Whisper White cardstock our soft suede which is one of my favorite browns I love our soft suede and then I have our vanilla cardstock and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on here and put some more adhesive put a little bit on the sides mount that in the center of the card and then I have the word peace that we went ahead and die cut ahead of time as well. Let me just 
remove the little pieces. You can just see how nicely they fall out after cutting it with the precision plate. And now I can introduce you to our fine tip glue pen. This is a new adhesive for us, but you want to use just a little bit. You want to use it sparingly because it is liquid, which means that it will squish out the sides if you have big puddles of it. You can use the fine point to kind of drag it along, spreading it out 